Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good and I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of Euro USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time. And you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say big congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of Euro USD. When we did that analysis, the market was here. You can remember um, the market bought from here up to this region. Then we had this um, bearish rejection only for the markets to buy again. Then the last candlestick was a doji so we did say that we would like to consider this the beginning of an uptrend or yeah we said we like to believe that the market is making an uptrend and this is um the last higher low and we look forward to the market making the next higher high and this was our tp you can see this red horizontal line and you can see that was fully attained and exceeded so if you were able to get in on that, I want to say big congratulations to you. Now let's start analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see um, the market started buying from this region, got here, sold a bit and bought again. Then around here, the market range for a while only for it to sell. This was the first time it was selling below this region. You can see this region had been a support region for Euro USD. This was the first time it was selling below that region. And this is the month of May. The market is currently bullish. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see uh, the market bought from here, got here, ranged here a bit, and finally sold down here. Then it started buying. This was two weeks ago, the market ended as a doji. And last week, we can see the market ended as a bullish candle, with very little upper week. And the tender simple moving average is about to cross over the candlestick here. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see the market sold from here down to this region. Quite a huge bearish move. And um, we have seen bullish move. Okay, this was where we, we expected the market to buy up to because this was quite a huge bearish move. So we consider this the impulsive move and um, this was a retracement but at this time the market altered that because we had the market buy from here so the fact that it couldn't sell down here again and um, the bulls came in and pushed it higher we believe that an uptrend had started so that was why we say that the market is coming back to this region and that is exactly what happened let me take off this red horizontal line so the last candlestick on the daily time frame is a doji you can see that there now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see the market has been buying um for quite a while and the rsi exceeded went above the overbought region and we can see the market sold a bit down to this region only for it to buy again then the last candlestick on the four hours time frame is a gravestone doji. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Firstly, I will say that looking at the four hours time frame, you can see it is overbought. Number two, the daily time frame has gotten to the resistance region. It came pretty close to the overbought region, no doubt. And we can see the market made a bearish arami here, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern then um looking at the weekly time frame we can also see that we've had quite a significant bullish move for a couple of weeks and the market ended as a bullish candle with very little or insignificant upper week now this is what i would say there is still bullish pressure in the market but considering the fact that it has bought this much there will be a retracement of course, we have a bearish around here, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern, and that proposes a sell. The last candlestick is a doji, and the four hours time frame 
also ended as a greystone doji. So this is what I think, considering the fact that we have a morning star here, I believe the markets will buy again and make a double top here on the four hours time frame or a bearish divergence here on the four hours time frame before it finally sells. And the market should sell till it comes to this region. Let me mark that region. Yes, this region, this is the next um, support region, which was previously a resistance. So the market should sell back to this region and make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. When that occurs, we look forward to the market going bullish and... This should be our TP, 1.095. That should be our TP. Now, if we have sufficient volume in the market, all of this can happen within one week. I mean, for it to sell down here, make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and buy. If we have sufficient volume, all of that can happen within one week. But if we don't have sufficient volume, then we can see the market sell to this region and make the bullish reversal candlestick pattern within this week. Then the, the week after, we can now have the bullish move. So, um, this is what we look forward to the market doing. This is what we expect from the market this week and perhaps beyond. So we want to see the market sell and make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. Hopefully all of this can happen within this week. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I will be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purposes, and it's going to save you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book, Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our forex course. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service, we'll give proper entry, stop loss and take profit. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy. Send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us the location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.